Today is the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Please stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us give glory to our God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God, three persons, from whom everything in the world comes and to whom everything returns. We adore and thank the three divine persons for the mystery of the Incarnation and Redemption. Because of this love for us, the Father created us and sent us His Son to be our Savior. The Holy Spirit comes to us to make present in the Church of every time and place the redemption brought by Christ to humanity. To prepare ourselves and to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, begging the Lord His pardon and His strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, one powerful in majesty, to Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the first reading, to the Israelites, God reveals himself as unique and without equal, yet close to his people. In response to this privileged experience of one God, Moses says, the people are to be faithful to the Lord and keep his commandments. A reading, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, As now of the days of old before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, Ask from one end to the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did the people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's go. 
second reading, Paul reminds us that the three persons of the Trinity are at work for our salvation. We become God's children and heirs with Christ in the Spirit who inspires us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of sla slavery to fall back into fear, but you receive a spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Son and the Holy Spirit to God who is, who was, and who is to come. At 
that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the close of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po, Father. Sana ba tiin nyo rin eh, ng magandang umaga ang inyong makatabi sa kaliwa at sa kanan. Tayo mga Kristiyano-Katoliko, mula sa ating pagkamusmos, hindi pa natin alam ang salitang katikesis, hindi pa natin alam ang salitang simbahan, maliliit pa man tayo, tinuturoan na tayo na mag-antanda or make the sign of the cross. Sa pamamagitan ng ating mga kamay, ang ating kanang kamay, tinuturoan tayong ilagay sa ating nao, sa ating sa may balik dibdib at sa kaliwa at kanan na ating balikat sa pagsasimula ng sangalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Tayo mga Pilipino, kilalang kilala bilang mga taong relihiyoso hindi lamang sa ating bansa kahit kahit na tayo nasa ibang bansa. May kaibigan na po na sa Middle East, no? na kung saan doon sa lugar na yon ay eh, mas liberated ng kaunti ang practice ng pananampalataya, kapag dadaan ng simbahan, nag-aantanda. Kapag lalabas ng bahay, nag-aantanda. Bago sumakay na sasakyan, nag-aantanda. Pag mayroong hinihiling na, ma- na taim-tim, nag-aantanda. Kapansin-pansin na ang banal na isang tatlo o Santisima Trinidad ay ang pinapakita natin at pinapahalagan bilang bukod ng ating pananampalataya. At ito ay isang misteryo na ating ipinagdiriwang araw-araw. Pero pag tinanong ka kung one plus one plus one ay one, ang matutuwa yung theology professor kasi God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit is one God pero pag sinabi mo sa teacher mo sa math, bagsak ka kasi ang one plus one plus one sa math, hindi magiging one to the three no? pero pag magpasayo mo naman ang teacher mo sa math na one plus one plus one is three at sabihin naman yun halimbawa nag exam ng theology One God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit equals three gods. Eh, hindi tama yun. Mali yan. So, hindi siyang isang banal na misteryo na madaling ipahayag, madaling maintindihan. Pero pinapakita nito ang isang bagay lamang. Unang-una, sa pagdiriwa na natin ng banal na isang tatlo or Holy Trinity, ipinapakita nito that God is truth. A truth that is not invented by man. A truth that is not discovered by people. But it is a truth that is revealed to us by the loving God. Pinapaalala sa atin na ang banalas sa tatlo ay humahamon sa atin bilang mga kristyano-katoliko na mamuhay lagi sa katotohanan that we are to live in truth because of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ano 
ang ibig sabihin nito? Maraming bagay din. Pag tinagpas na ang social media, pag, fo- pag fake news, mas mabilis yata pumala kaysa sa totoo. Pag sinabing fake news, pag talagang masaklap, yung nagpapalaganap pa nito, pinupuri pa, pinapalakpakan, at wag ka viral pa. Damn. Pero pag nagsabi naman ng totoo, hindi miminsan nangyayari pag nagsabi ka ng totoo, mapapahamak ka. Pag nagsabi ng totoo, no? magkakaproblema ka. Pag nagsabi ng totoo, marami kang nakakaaway. Bakit ganun? Huwag nating kalilimutan na ang katotohanan ay katotohanan. Tanggapin man o hindi. Marami mang maniwala o hindi. Ang katotohanan ay katotohanan. At kailangan tayong mamuhay sa katotohanan. There is nothing more liberating than to live in the truth. And if God is truth, we are called to live in honesty. Walang mas maluwag pa sa kalooban kung kaya natin sabihin ng isang bagay ng hindi natin kailangan tandaan kung ano sinabi natin kasi naging katuo ang sinasabi natin. Ano mo problema lang sa pagsasabi ng hindi totoo eh yung baka mapuko. Ano ba yung sinabi ko kanina? Baka kasi magkamali ako, malaman niyang hindi tugma, mapahamak ako yan. So the Holy Trinity reminds us to live in truth. And to live in truth means to live in honesty. Nothing is more liberating than to live in honesty. Ikalawa, the Holy Trinity points us to our identity. Kapag magkakatabi ang Romano-Katoliko, Iglesia, at Muslim, alam mo Kristiyano siya kapag siya ay nag-antanda. Ang pag-aantanda ay simula ng araw at pagwawakas ng araw. Simula ng pagdarasal at pagtapos ng pagdarasal. Simula ng banal na pagdiriwat hanggang sa pagkatapos nito. Simula ng anumang sakramento ay sisimulan sa sangalan ng Ama, ng Anak ng Espiritu Santo at magpawakas sa banal na isang tatlo. Kung nung tayo binyagan at pumasok sa buhay sa Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng banal na isang tatlo, pag tayo'y namatay, iniyahabilin pa rin tayo sa banal na sang tatlo. My dear friends, the Holy Trinity reminds us of our identity. Pansinin po natin, kapag ang lipunan na pinag-usapan, laging may dalawang grupo lang. Kakampi, kalaban. Kapartido, hindi ko kapartido. No? Kaibigan o kaaway. No? Kapartido sa politika, hindi ko kapartido sa politika. So, pansinin nyo, lagi na lang, dalawa lang dalawa, dalawa ng dalawa. Pero pinapaalala sa atin ang balanas ng tatlo, that if we continue to live in this kind of dichotomy, we will destroy each other instead. So, anong kulang? Panay may horizontal dimension, Walang vertical dimension. Ano gusto nito sabihin? Hindi ni nais ng Panginoon na tayo po lagi ay magkakahiwalay. Ang nais po natin ng Panginoon sa atin na tayo manatili magkakaugnay. My dear friends, our identity calls us into unity. Because our sense of unity will not come from anything else but our unity in God. Ang magkaaway, magkakaroon ng ugnayan kapag ang Panginoong Diyos ang niligay nila sa pagitan nila. My dear friends, this is a reminder for us to continue to live our identity, to live in unity. At ang kasunod nito ay hindi, masyad, hindi nalalayo sa ikalawang bagay nito. 
the Holy Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit reminds us of love all the time. Pag pinagnilayan natin ang katotohanan na ito, ang Ama ay hindi ang anak. Ang anak hindi ang Espiritu Santo. At ang Espiritu Santo ay hindi ang anak o, o ang, ana, ang Ama. Pero sa pansin ninyo, they may be three different persons, but they are always united. They are always in communion. No sense of competition. Ang mahirap kasi sa atin, kapag may iba, may competition na nagaganap. And yet, we are reminded to always live in love. Sa ikalawang pagbasa, makikita natin, kasama na ng Ebanghelyo ngayon, kung paano ang buhay ng ama at ang anak ay magkaugnay dahil iyon sa pamamagit ng Espiritu Santo. Sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano, pinapaalala niya sa atin na ang buhay sa Bananes ng Tatlo ay isang buhay na may ugnayan ng pag-ibig. A love that is always self-giving. A love that is not holding back anything. A love which has no sense of self, but always self-giving. Tanong, may, ma- may napalabaan Diyos sa atin nung mahalin niya tayo? Wala. May napalabaan Diyos nung mahalin niya tayo? Naku, baka nga sumakit pa ang ulo ng Panginoon. No? May, may, ma- may mapapalabaan Diyos sa atin? Wala. Pero mahal niya pa rin tayo. Nakipag-ugnayan sa atin. Pinili pa tayo upang kanyang maging anak. Because love is not love unless it goes out of itself to include others. Pwede naman ang banal na santatulo, sila sila na lang. Pero hindi, pinili nilang isama tayo sa piling nila. Because it is the nature of love always to share. It is the nature of love to be always inclusive. Kaya mga minaman na kapatid, may we always be reminded of this. That the Holy Trinity wants us to live in truth. The Holy Trinity reminds us of our true identity. The Holy Trinity reminds us always to live in love. Pagpalain tayo mga Panginoon Diyos, ayun at kailanman. Please rise for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will will come come again again in glory to judge judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, I believe, I believe in one, one holy, holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism, baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look and forward, I look forward to, the to the resurrection of the dead, of the dead and the life, and the life of, the world of the world to come. Amen. God is our Creator and Father. He has given us His Son to be our life. Through His Holy Spirit, let us raise our voices as we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our church leaders be docile to the voice of the Holy Spirit, faithful to the way of Christ, and diligent in listening to the divine word and in approaching the wellspring of grace. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Holy Spirit strengthen the leaders of our country in their commitment to promote justice, peace, and truth. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May consecrated men and women show forth their love for the poor and the oppressed. May they be one with those in need and abound in works of mercy. 
may they be compassionate toward all. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May those who are suffering because of sickness, poverty, and difficulty in their relationships be sustained by the love of God through the care of their families and friends. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord bless the efforts and initiatives of all the parishioners who compose the parish and BECs. May the spirit of collaboration bring us into a fruitful communion with the Father. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May our departed brothers and sisters be welcome into the kingdom of eternal life. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Almighty Father, you have revealed your love to us through your Son and sent the Holy Spirit among us. Receive our prayers and grant that we may come to the inheritance held out to us in Christ, who lives and reigns in you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, 
we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, friends, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, our auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Louis and Zeli Martin, our patron saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O God, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
Jesus taught us to call God of our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Us, Lord, we pray for every even and gracious to grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace in it in a force with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a nice day, everyone.